Hello guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about fully funded international scholarship for international students in Sweden, in Europe. So if you're interested in this type of content, I encourage you to watch this video till the end. We are going to discuss everything you need to know about this scholarship. The scholarship is currently open, fully funded. And one of the beautiful things about this scholarship is that you are given a work visa while studying as a student in this country in Europe, okay? So pay attention and um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, use this opportunity to click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video like this. So without wasting much of our time, let us discuss this fully funded scholarship in Sweden, okay? Welcome back guys. So today we are at the ATH Institute of Technology in Sweden. There are several positions available and uh, we will go through each of them. So there is a need for a doctoral student in transport science. Pay attention, when I'm discussing about this doctoral student, these PhD positions, know that you can apply for this PhD position even if you have your bachelor's degree only. Uh, you must not have a master's degree for you to apply for these PhD programs. And um, also, if you have, if you are currently doing a master's degree program in your home country, you can as well apply to these positions. Okay, so this is a doctoral student position in transport science at the uh, uh, Faculty of um, you know Architecture and uh, Built Environment at the KTH Institute of Technology. Okay, this is a full-time contract. Like I told you earlier, scholarship positions at this level for PhD students is more like a work contract okay you are given a full-time work contract and then you are treated like a worker in sweden so you have 100 percent uh, you know um coverage for everything that you need including health insurance okay you get your monthly payment and the slots available for this position is just one slot and um you'll be studying in stockholm okay the university is located in stockholm which is the heart of sweden the capital of sweden so these are some of the things they offer for this position Make sure that if you're applying for this position, you must read up the description of the project you are coming to do. As a PhD aspirant, I'm sure you understand what it means to come for a project in a, in a university, okay? So you read up what the project is about and tailor your motivation letter, your cover letter to have every of the skills you are needed to have. So here now, they want somebody who is working on this subject, okay? Transport science with specialization in transport system. So if you did anything related to this area, you put in your application and use some of the contents they have here to tell them you both your CV as well as your motivation letter. So these are some of the benefits of um, studying uh, at PhD level in this university in Sweden. You are given a very competitive salary and um, you are given all the benefits of a worker in Sweden. And that's a beautiful thing, okay? Uh, as a PhD student, you can easily get your permanent residence while doing your PhD in Sweden. I'll quickly show you the um, annual salary for PhD students for this program. Now, for a PhD student, the startup or uh, initial salary is about um, 32,000 kroners, okay, which is roughly about uh, 32,000 um, euros a year. After tax, you'll be going with 30,800 kroner, okay. So, kroner is the local currency for Sweden, for Sweden. So, there is an increment, there is a plan for increment. So, as you meet the target plan for your PhD program, your salary is increased. So the step two is 30% increase. Step three is 50% increase. And step four is 80% increase, okay? So as you are doing your PhD, you are meeting your individual target or your annual target or your you know uh, quarterly target, your salary is increased, okay? So it's a wonderful opportunity and I want you to consider it. Also, the university promised to assist you as a PhD student to relocate and settle in Stockholm, Sweden. So this is a wonderful offer. So if you are in the field of transport science or in the field of architecture or built environment or anything related to it, and you're interested in this project of urban planning or thereabouts, please, I encourage you to apply as soon as possible. So the deadline for application is 9th of May, 2024. This is the lead um, investigator or the principal investigator for this project, okay? You can email him here if you have issues. So the admission requirement for this position, it's simple. If you have a master's degree, you have an advantage. However, if you have a bachelor's degree, you can still get this position. You just need to show them in your motivation letter as well as in your CV that the relevant courses that are required to carry out this project 
that you did it as an undergraduate student and also you have the relevant experience possibly through um research workshop or possibly through your project or whatever so if you're interested in applying and these are the documents you need you need your cv you need the application letter which is like a motivation letter that shows everything about you and how you meet um the goals and the objective of this position so we also need copies of your degree so if, if you have a master's degree an undergraduate degree which is your bsc or whatever you make sure you put them here and um if they are not in english please make sure you translate them to english before you submit so this is another phd position at the same university kth royal institute of um, technology so this is for a phd in multimodal data driven urban mobility management also in the faculty or the school of architecture and built environment so it's actually open and um, just like in the other position it is a full-time contract position you just need one person in the same university they offer the same salary position like i discussed earlier so you can apply as soon as possible the same admission requirement is um, is required here and then the selection process is the same and all that so if you're interested in this position um, you click on apply here and start your application okay i'll make sure i drop a link to this position at the description section of this video this is the third phd position available in the same university in a data-driven predictive control for smart buildings so if you are in computer science or electrical engineering uh, you can pick interest in this particular program okay it has the same benefit like the others competitive salary you have your work visa and um, you have opportunities to get your permanent residence and all that you can as well move with your family okay this is a beautiful opportunity for anyone who is interested in doing a phd in sweden okay so i also drop the link to this um, particular page on the description section of this video and um, if you have any question of course always do well to put it on the comment section of this video this is another phd position in the same university kth royal institute of technology in sweden this is phd in wireless sub thz and uh, thz um, communication for CSG and beyond so if you are interested in this type of project um you can apply for this same position okay and remember you can apply to multiple positions you must not apply to one you can apply to multiple positions if you have uh, the required skill sets they need and um if you have uh, interest in the program of course okay so this is the information about the program and this is the lead uh the principal investigator for this particular program always make sure to reach out to them if you also have any need for further details about the project this is another phd position in the same university so they need a doctoral student in light controllable fluorescent proteins in microscopy so if you are in engineering department or you have an engineering background you can apply for this position it has all the benefit like the other ones too and um, it's something very nice uh it's basically in biological physics like biophysics so if you have in a background in physics you have an advantage here however someone with a background in biology can still apply for this position and win uh, this particular scholarship the deadline for this is um, 15th May 2024. This is another doctoral position in the same university. So they are interested um, in students who work on uh, the radar system um, in, at the School of uh, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at KTH. So this is a description of the project. A deadline for application is 23rd of May 2024. So it has the same benefits and all that with the rest of the applications or the rest of the PhD positions we have discussed. If you're interested, you apply as soon as possible. So this is another PhD position available in the same university. So um, this position is for robotics, for fire risk assessment in rural environment. It is also available. And the deadline for application is 30th June 2024. So you have enough time to apply for this position. So if you are into computer science, engineering, and um, the likes of it, you can apply for this position. It has all the benefits like the other programs we have discussed in this video so this is the final phd position available at the kth royal institute of technology in sweden it is um, a position for system security formal verification and machine learning for those on the school of electrical engineering and computer science so if you have this background you can apply for this position the deadline for the application is a uh, 31st august 2024 so you have enough time to apply for this position and um, there are about two phd positions available okay so you can apply if you have interest and the background necessary for this application remember i always encourage you to make applications to as many programs as possible if you fit into the background of all these programs do well to apply to them if you fit into three do well to apply to them okay 
you just modify your CV and modify your letter of motivation and make your application as soon as possible. Once you are ready to apply for any of this program, you just click on the apply button at the right hand side, okay? And then you start your application. Sweden is a very beautiful country. And um, the fact that PhD students are treated as workers or given a work visa gives you an advantage. It makes it easy for you to, if you are interested in staying in Sweden for a long time, it's easier because it integrates you into the community faster and it gives you a basis to start up your research life or your career life. This will be the end of the video. And um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I encourage you to please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you get alerted whenever we drop a new video like this. Uh, until I see you next time, keep making your application, keep chasing your dreams and never stop trying, okay?